Hi my dear students, I'm Ronja ma'am and welcome to my channel. Today's video is dedicated to all my future doctors. Today we are going to know about studying medical science. And we are going to know everything like from how to prepare for your entrance exam to life in a medical college to future prospects. And we are going to know everything from a doctor who is also a student. Dr. Shagufa Jamal who has completed her MBBS so she is a doctor and right now she is doing her PG in ophthalmology. She is in her third year. So let's get started. So doctor, my first question to you will be, what did it feel like when you first wore the white coat and started treating patients? So after four and a half, almost five years of training, we finally get the title of the doctor. We get to wear the white coat and the stethoscope. Uh, we uh, take our Hippocratic oath. Uh, Initially, it feels a bit scary that we'll have the sole responsibility of the patient. We'll have to do things independently. But gradually, as I started seeing patients and the patients came with successful treatment and they said that we are fine. So uh, it was so immensely satisfying. It felt really happy. It fe felt like all the years of hard work had finally paid off. Okay, now talking about the medical entrance exam, the first question that comes to my mind is, are the school textbooks really helpful when it comes to the entrance exam or they are helpful, useful only for the boards? School textbooks are really important. In 11 and 12, you have to clear your basics, you have to clear your concepts. Otherwise, you won't be able to solve the MCQs in the future, which will come in the entrance exam. And for this neat entrance exam, especially the NCRT notebooks, since a long time, that has been like the most important textbook, which everyone recommends for preparation for the entrance exam. The NCRT textbooks of physics, chemistry and biology should be studied thoroughly. All the numericals and problems and diagrams, everything has to be uh, studied thoroughly. Dr. Shagufa, please give some tips to my viewers as to how to prepare for the medical entrance exam. Of course, as you said, they uh, will be reading the textbooks thoroughly. And I know that uh, most all of them go for uh, extra study material or coaching classes. But something else apart from that, what advice you would like to give them? The first tip I would like to give is that um, you have to uh, practice a lot of multiple choice questions. So that is very important because uh, in school uh, we know all the things but we don't know how to apply it to multiple choice questions. We know the formulas but we don't know where will it be used. So uh, to overcome that practicing MCQs is very important. And also to learn time management so that you can finish your uh, paper on time. Then the second thing that I am I see that frequently uh, students, they jump between coaching institutes, between study materials. This is not right. So uh, you choose one or two things and complete it thoroughly from cover to cover. One or two study materials or you jo join one coaching institute, do whatever you are doing thoroughly. Another uh, thing that I would like to say that uh, one month before the exam, you should not study any new topics. Suppose your friend says that I have studied this, someone else will say I have studied that. As students often they get scared and they uh, keep studying too many things. So uh, uh, then they, you won't be able to remember anything. So one month before the exam, don't study any new things, just go for revision. Revision is very important because the syllabus is so vast. So uh, unless you revise, you, you will forget things. So a revision is important. So finally, I would like to end by saying that you have to uh, work smartly. Working hard is also important, but also you have to uh, be a bit smart and uh, uh, revise things and study things which are more important, which have come in previous years. All that is important. Okay, so a student gets admission in a medical college. So what type of a life uh, will he or she going to have? 
I mean, I just wanted to know uh, the normal day, uh, you know, in the life of a medical student. What happens throughout the day? In the medical college, depending on the college, there are classes starting from 7 to 8 in the morning up to uh, almost 4 or 5 in the evening. And uh, there are back-to-back -back lectures. And also, uh, like, uh, in the there is a 3-hour anatomy dissection, especially in the first year. And then uh, also there are practicals, two hours of practicals where you will get to do various experiments and see how the chemical reactions and all take place inside our body. Then after the classes, uh, you, uh, you can go to the library and read whatever has been taught that day. And the medical colleges, they have excellent libraries. You can go and you'll get a lot of study materials. You can read over there. Then also uh, after that, you can do whatever you like. You can pursue your hobbies and extracurricular activities or go out with your friends. Okay, we all know that medical students study a lot. So my next question to you will be, do medical students have fun? Uh, yes, yes, uh, of course, that's a misconception. We also have fun like any other regular colleges. So after classes, as I mentioned earlier, you'll have time to pursue your hobbies and extracurricular activities like sports and all. Also, you can play in the weekends. Apart from that, also, we have a yearly fest, which goes on from one to four days, depending on the college. And uh, before the fest, uh, one month, uh, you'll have various academic and non-academic competitions like quizzes, both medical quiz and general quiz, dance, singing, competition, everything, just like a, a regular college. So that time is a lot of fun. And we also watch movies, hang out, everything. But um, yeah, studying is important for us because um, there's a lot of syllabus and also, uh, but uh, we have time for extracurriculars and fun. So a student completes MBBS. Now what next? What are the different options? Please tell my viewers. Um, after uh, this, uh, um, after you get the MBBS degree, you can either continue like that or you can go uh, for specialization. So if you wish to continue with an MBBS degree, you can uh, get jobs as a resident doctor in various medical colleges and hospitals or uh, you may uh, join the government service. It is a very popular option nowadays. You can get a job as a government do doctor in various uh, health centers and even in organizations like the railways and all then uh, after that there are other options like you can have your own clinic also to uh, treat some minor ailments you can also get jobs in research centers and in NGOs so and uh, if you wish to go for specialization that is uh, you have to appear for another entrance like you are appear you will appear for NEET UG now that there, there is a NEET PG for that specialization is three years like I am doing now I am in the final year of my uh, ophthalmology specialization after which I'll become an eye surgeon similarly I have a friend who is doing pediatrics which is a child specialist so you can do that also so after this, you will be uh, concerned with seeing patient of this particular department only. And another third option, if you can't devote three years for specialization, you can uh, go for uh, short fellowships. So one month, three months, six months, different duration uh, uh, short fellowships are available. So these are also useful uh, for taking your career ahead. What message would you like to give to my young friends? They have dreams of becoming a doctor. Uh, I don't want to scare you, but I just want to uh, tell you that you have to work very passionately uh, because uh, this is a very noble profession. And from my experience, I can tell you it is a life worth living. So your passion and patience will make your dream come true. Dr. Shagufa, thank you for taking out time. I know how busy you are. And my dear students, I'm sure you found this video very informative. And you all are now very, very inspired. Do like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Don't forget to click the bell icon. All the best for your future.